What we have seen is that it's relatively easy to create plots using Pandas data frames. But if we want to have a larger degree of control, there is a um, part of matplotlib called pyplot, which is, uh, uh, allow, gives us greater control over the plots that we create. Um, we saw a different part of matplot lib earlier when we are working with images. Um, so PyPlot is specifically for creating plots. PyPlot is built on top of NumPy. So we'll see that a lot of the data structures that we have to feed into PyPlot are related to NumPy series. Also, we'll see that the um, PyPlot plots that we make are very similar to the Panda plots and that's that, that we just finished making. And that's not a coincidence because actually the Pandas plots are just using matplotlib under the hood to generate those plots. So it's really sort of a wrapper on top of PyPlot. If we switch from doing sort of generic Panda plots to the PyPlot library, this gives us a much higher degree of control over the appearance of our plots, and it also expands the number of available plot options to a huge number. As we saw uh, at the top of our Jupyter Notebook, this is the standard import statement for if we're using uh, PyPlot from matplotlib. 